We've got a classic matchup here, boss, of a master of submissions in Carlos Barreto right there against a master of striking in Igor Volchanson. Yeah. Let's hope that this is not going to be a match what we think it is because he's probably going to go. He wants to take to the ground. He wants to take uh, Igor Vovchanchin out of his striking game. And I hope he's not going to sit there. I hope he's going to work and try to, to do his submissions where he's so good at. Well, there is a really big difference in the height of these two gentlemen. Carlos Barreto, and we're going to see it in the stare down, is six foot four. Igor Vovchanchin is five eight. Both men right around the 230, 235 pound range. No. Barreto wants this fight on the ground, but he's circling to his left now. We know Volchanson is going to throw the overhand punch because that would be the key in fighting a taller fighter who's got the reach advantage. But that's the key to fighting a taller fighter who's going to box with you. If he's a jujitsu man, what is his strategy? Yeah, we don't know right now, but <clears throat> Mahato has to try to keep the distance. That's one thing for sure. It's difficult for him because uh, to, t to take Igor down because the Igor is smaller and he has to come all the way from all the way up to down you know the other way around would have been more easy if, if Igor would, would have been the Jiu Jitsu guy now the submission guy it's easier to take him down now that's a good weapon because of those long legs of Barreto the kick would be an effective weapon against Volchanski look oh. at that left hook left hook right straight that's definitely his weapon Barreto very patient here, but coming up short with those jabs, and that front kick was more of a fake than it was an actual kick. And that's really not the weapon. Okay, that landed that's a little bit. Yeah, but also, he, he can keep him in distance, but I would do it, if I was him, with the left foot. You know, it's because it's, you're not going to knock him out with it. It's only to keep him at a safe distance and let him say, hey, hey, here's my long leg, my tall leg. Let's see if you stay away. At the moment, he's... If Volchenko is going to close the distance, it's going to be dangerous. And because... Okay, oh. now, because Barreto is circling to his right, He's going to be circling right into that left hook if Volchanson leads with it. Very good remark. Because Barreto going to the right, if Volchanson throws the left hook, he's going to have a head-on collision. And Volchanson sees that, and he's stalking, he's really stalking Barreto. Barreto really staying out of harm's way, but not doing much. He should try the right low kick because he looks very horrible right now, Barreto, to get a left uh, right low kick. Oh, there's that overhand right. Explosive punches by Igor Bovchanson. But the movement of Barreto has really lessened the... Oh, there's that left hook. Oh, body shot. I think what Barreto is trying to do is lure Bovchanson in. Get Bochanchin moving forward, maybe even get him frustrated, make him restless or reckless, and then go for a takedown. It would be a very smart strategy. And it looks like you're absolutely right. What Bochanchin has failed to do so far is cut off the ring, though. Because Barreto can still move to the side. Bochanchin showing Barreto a lot of respect here. Not raging in, not just coming into a wild punching exchange, but taking his time as well. Both these men measuring the other. And Bochancha coming up short with those punches, but it was the jab uh, by Carlos Barreto which started that flurry by both fighters. Whoa. 
There's that left hook, overhand right. The left hook landed a little bit on the chin of Barreto. Well, Chechi should go body shots still here. Straights to the body, that's what I mean. Okay, there's the jab by Barreto. Now, Volchanson, because he has to lunge in and reach, it's lessening the effect of that left hook. It's straightening the punch out. Yeah, uh, what I... Left straight to the body a few times, real hard, real powerful, and then finish it up with the right overhand that he had. I agree, boss. He should go to the body in this case because the head is too far away. Yeah. Especially when Barreto leans back. But if he hits him a few times in the body now, it'll be head, head forward. forward. Exactly. And he's listening. And he comes in brawling. And it looks like those occasional jabs of Carlos Barreto are having an effect on the face of Volchanson. There's a little bit of a mouse forming under his right eye. I think the uh, jab is a good weapon for Barreto to use here because Volchanson is not known to be a takedown artist. He's not known to be a ground fighter. It's going to be a stand-up fight, and until he gets Bochanchin into a clinch, he's got to keep out of his punching range. Yeah, but he should make his jab more powerful by bringing his shoulder a little bit more back. The shoulder's all the way forward. It's only arm power right now. It's really a jab, you know? And, and if, if Igor is smart, he can make counter that jab. And there's the clinch, and Barreto slips a little bit. Bochanchin gets out of the high clinch. Good left low kick. We heard that one resonate throughout Yokohama Arena here. Barreto firing back with his right front kick. Well, I've got to say that Barreto fundamentally is at least keeping his hands up. He understands the position of the hands in getting ready for defense of punches. Yeah, he We've seen so many other fighters, even Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighters, come in with their hands low and get, get punched. Yeah, but he, he's facing for attention, you know. He, I bet you he worked two times a day on his hands. Because he doesn't have to work on his ground game. It's, it, it's good, good already, you know. You know, you still can work on it a couple of times a week, but concentrate on boxing because that's what Wolf is going to do to you. But if oh, see, he's waiting for the jab, and then he counters it. That's the problem with the jab. If, if Barreto would make a jab, a real hard punch, then he has for Chanchi first has to block it, and then he can counter. But it's, right now he just counters it. It's obvious that Carlos Barreto, his primary training is in jiu-jitsu. But can you imagine an athlete of this kind of a build if he trained in kickboxing for a year or two? My God, he would be. He's got the same build to be an, an Ernesto Hoost or something because he's tall, he's got the long legs, could throw the high kick. Yeah, he should go to Holland. Train there for uh, six months or something. Because he's got the long limbs. He could really, really develop a good straight right and a good high kick and maybe even a good low kick. I think Volchanson would be best served to step to his left, throw the left hook to the body, overhand right, and then finish with a left inside kick. I think exactly the same thing. And he should stop him. He should lock him up in the corner. Because Carlos continues to circle one way, and that is to the left. Volchanson really needs to step deep to the left. Left hook. Because Volchanson right now is just chasing Carlos. He's not, he's not, he's not cutting off the ring at all. He's not stepping to his left. Even if he stepped to the left and Carlos expected the, the left hook, he could throw the right to the body. Yeah, and the good thing to do is also lock him up in the corner and then let him escape to the right, catch him with the right, or let him escape to the left, catch him with the left. But, uh, yeah, we don't see him doing it. He's just chasing him. Which is, yeah. I, th I think maybe he, he doesn't want to go to the ground, so he doesn't want to give Carlos a chance to clinch with him. So he's keeping it on the outside and trying to pick him apart from the outside, which gives Carlos more of a chance. But it's a tactical thing by Bochanchi. Obviously, he doesn't want to lock up with Barreto. No, no, that's 
fit. But also the body lock position is going to be difficult for um, my head to take the charging now because he's smaller and a lot of power. Oh, he really wants to go. But he needs longer arms. <laughs> Well, Chancellor just decided to slip that punch. Well, Chancellor slipping to the left and throwing the left uppercut he to should, the body. He should combine that with the right cross. I would have to say Beretto's, Beretto is pretty fast for a big man. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, a, a very, and the crowd didn't like that round. Uh, hey, shall we say it was tactical, but do you think that, what do you think Barreto's game plan is here? I don't know, I, um, if he's real smart, this is only a setup. They're going to tell him, okay, use the first round, to frustrate round and him. a half to frustrate him. Let him think that you're boxed, and then take him down and go for the last five minutes. Well, Chancho coming in, and there, there they go, go locking up. Barreto trying to get the underhooks, but failing and slipping to the canvas. Well, Chancho throwing that left hook, but it was partially blocked by the shoulder of Barreto. Who slipped, and it was good. He, good thing he slipped because that right hand was come sailing next to his head, and they hit him with the inside of his forearm on that one, and slipped down. And Barreto finished with a front kick. But you know what? I, I rather see this when it's slower pace, but on their feet, than two people laying on each other. Huh? I like this. Is this? Is, I have the feeling here. At any moment, it can be over because they're waiting. They're waiting. You see. Well, Chechen is waiting for the right moment to knock him out. And uh, that, that, that gives, kind of makes it interesting. So. But we don't know what um, Bahedo is going to do. I, I think he's going to go for a takedown later in this round. I think you're right. I think that the, the game plan is, and there you've got Sergio Bottarelli to the right and Carlson Gracie standing over Carlos Barreto, giving him two sets of instructions. I think the game plan is to frustrate, frustrate Bo Chanson, get Bo Chanson to start rushing in, getting crazy, and then to lock him up and trip him and take him to the mat. Yeah, I, I would go for like a single or a double leg. I don't know if lock, lock up position for, uh, for Chanson is yeah, maybe I, trip. Yeah, what you say? I don't think yeah, I don't think a single I, because Carlos is going to have to reach down so low to go for a single or double leg takedown. I think it'd be better to do an underhook body lock and to just lean forward and trip him. That would be the best way to take him down. Yeah, but he's, look, when, when he's giving a jab, uh, Vovchenkin is countering the jab. He's pretty much going to do it every time. So then he knows, see, then he knows, after the jab, when he, he shoots down, he's going to get him. Because Vovchenkin comes in after he's giving the jab to counter. I would fake him out like that. Jab, let Vovchenkin come, go for the leg. Well, for the most part, Carlos is avoiding the fight right now. Yes. Even though it'd be strategic and tactical, he's avoiding engaging, whether it be a grappling match or a punching match, with Igor Vovchanshin. Vovchanshin is definitely more effective in an aggressive sense because he's pushing the action. He's dictating the fight. You see, jab, he counters. So, jab, shoot. We've virtually seen no right hands from Carlos Barreto, though. Man, Not a single funny. right hand. I just want to say. And, 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 you, and you think that if a guy like this, this tall with this long arms, could turn the hip over and throw that right hand and whip it back, what kind of a punch would that be? We haven't seen one of them. Yeah, but, but it, he, he feels right here that, that it makes him more vulnerable. But I, I've got to say that Barreto's jab is not a bad jab, really. It's not a bad jab, but he should put his left shoulder a little bit more backwards and make the jab a hard punch. And then go left, right. One, two, bam, bam. 
especially because he knows that for Chechen every time by hacking jabs for Chechen counters it's the perfect moment moment to throw a one-two combination right okay the referee is giving one caution for Barreto, evidently for stalling. Okay, he's not attacking. He doesn't have one attack. A jab is not an attack. Okay, now that is going to factor in the scoring. The judges are going to look at that. So Barreto coming out with a right low kick. Barreto coming out kicking, but most of those are blocked. He's, he's, he's really telegraphing the kicks now. Well, Chanchen is loading up. Do you think that uh, the referee's warning to Bredo has taken Bredo momentarily out of his game plan? Do you think it rattled him? It rattled him, but he, he, if he's a smart man, he already knew that he... Oh, that was a good left hook by both Chanchen, and it landed. It was a great left hook, and Bredo finally gets the body lock. Finally, and there's the trip, boss. That's exactly what you said. Okay. What happened? Exactly what, what I predicted Barreto needed to do to get Bochanchin into his territory, and that's on the ground. But it was that big left hook by Bochanchin that caused Barreto to seize the moment and make things happen. One thing did lead to another in that case. Now we're in Barreto's game. We're on the ground. But I better start using his time. Knocking the church out is going to be very unlikely. He has to go for submissions. That's probably the only weakness, but we don't know if the church has. I don't know anybody got him submitted. Well, he only got submitted from that chin in the eye. Yeah. Uh, and that was in the the Russian Absolute Fighting Championships back in 1996. Since then, he's done nothing but win. Yeah, and, 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 and that's not a real loss. I, I mean, if somebody puts your chin, his chin, in your in your eye, and he, <laughs> and you tap on that, you know, what I mean, it's a kind of a street move, no? Yeah, you might as well just meet on the street with full on biting and eye gouging. Yeah, so that's why I, I I don't see that as a lose, as a loss. But Igor, he claims that as a loss. He doesn't try and hide a loss from the public, although I'm sure he would like to get some revenge on that. But we'll talk about that one later. Right now, we've got Carlos Barreto on top, and he seems to be playing that waiting game that we've seen so many times when uh, two fighters get on the ground and they hold each other tight. And part of that is Volchanson is holding Barreto. Yeah, but it's easy for Barreto now. Put his right hand over the face, over the face of Volchanson, his forearm, and go cross face and push yourself out. But Igor's got his right arm locked up. Sorry, sorry, Igor. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, right, but it's left. I mean, it's left. Go over and go with that left arm. Yeah, I see what you mean. You're absolutely... There it is. There we go. There it is, Mr. Rutten. But uh, Igor sliding. keeping that head right next to Barreto's head. Now, that's good work by Bob Chanson. Yeah, he's pressing his own... The side of the head against his head. That's good, too. Knees here. Start kneeing. Because if he starts kneeing with the right, he has to, uh, Igor has to try to defend it so he can pull his right arm out. Because Volchanchin's shoulders and arms are so thick, it may be hard for Barreto to reach around and cross face him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Plus, he's got to get past his own face. See that? Look, look how look how big Igor's shoulder is there. Barreto, because yeah. his arm is so long. Okay, then we got another thing. With the left hand, he should grab his right hand, his uh, Igor's hand, push that hand down. And then pull his right arm out. Oh, Barreto going to get the mount here. He's almost got the mount of position. He should keep working on it. He should keep working on it because this way he's going to slide back. He should keep pushing it. Don't move it. Don't move. Don't, don't put him up. Looks like they're going to restart the fighters closer to the center of the ring. Hopefully this will give the fighters some motivation to get busy. 
It's going to be tough because we've never really seen Igor on the ground for an extended period of time like this in the Pride Fighting Championships. We've seen him on the ground momentarily against Gary Big Daddy Goodridge. But he ended up getting back up and knocking Big Daddy out. Actually, it was a TKO. No, full mount. This is not the way he's going to win the fight. He has to work something. He has to go for submissions. He has to go for, for something. This is this is not it. The time is running out. But I, I've got to say that the first round, maybe went to both Chanson. Maybe it was a draw. I'm not sure. I it would have to give it to both. Have to give it to both Chanson for being aggressive. The second round, both Chanson was aggressive, landed the big left hook. But now it's been all Barreto. Both Chanson has done nothing but hold. Yeah, that's what So this may be a draw. And then we're going to get the five minute overtime. Now, this is it, see? Now, Barreto getting busy. Well, Chance is stacking up. Well, Chance is on top. Nice work by Igor Well, Chance to stand back up. Now, Barreto has got to be very careful here to keep his hands up. He says, my pinky is loose. Because I'll forget about it. Okay, and the referee saw it too. He's going to fix his glove. These gloves seem to come apart pretty easily. Yeah. Okay, now that Volchanchin is back up, does Volchanchin have enough time to really get a decision here? I don't know, he cannot come out. Because if Barreto gets back on his bicycle and starts throwing the jab, it's going to be hard for Bochanchin to get him into a punching exchange. He should wait till the moment, one minute left, and then unleash. That sounds like something that uh, you have done, Boss Rutten. Maybe in your fight with Kosaka. Yes, I did. Waiting, waiting, set up, and then just go for it. Because if, he, if he's going to get the takedown at the end, you know, at least you did everything in your power. You're going to have to stand up. And then uh, here we go again. Okay, here we go. The resumption of the action. And the fighters touch gloves. Was that an X block by Bochanchin? I should have blocked and, and countered with a right, uh, right low kick. I love it when they throw a left front kick, block it with your right, and give you a right low kick right away. Pretty much works 90% of the time. You block it with the right hand or the left hand? Left hand and you block yeah. it outside. Exactly. Because what that does, it takes away his right hand if it's going to follow with the right hand over the left. Yeah, it, 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 it extends. Okay, Bob Chanson, Bob Chanson going for the takedown, and he throws Carlos Barreto to the mat. And he says, "Come up." Barreto going with a high kick. Oh, both judges should count to that. One minute, this is it. We just go full power now. Yeah. Right now. I think both judges got to, and look, he's getting ready to rage in. And again, he should keep going. He should keep going. Okay, Barreto's corner is imploring him to kick. To do nothing but kick. Oh, that was nice. He did that against Shoji. He catches the right low kick with his left hand and throws the overhand right. And it put Barreto down. But Barreto has landed a lot of kicks here. Some were blocked, but some landed on the legs of Ovchanchin. 
This fight is going to end in a draw. Yeah, I think so too. Well, Chanson looks frustrated. Yeah, you can tell, huh? He really wanted to finish this fight, but he's tall and he's keep throwing his legs. He, he, that was a good game plan. It was a good advice from the corner. Yeah, he looks frustrated. He couldn't uh, do what he does best, and that's punch or strike. And it was interesting that Barreto was the one throwing all the kicks at the end. Okay. No, this we've seen in the past. This is the best round because this one is going to decide who's going to be the winner. And as I said before, the scoring from the first two rounds has no effect on the outcome of the fight now. The outcome of the fight is only determined by this five-minute overtime. Two of our lovely Pride Fighting Championship ring girls, and there's Igor Bovchanson. Igor definitely wants to keep it on his feet. If he throws Carlos Barreto down again, he doesn't want to follow up into the guard because Barreto has beaten people in the guard. He actually beat Kevin Randleman with a triangle choke from the guard. Overtime round, Volchanson versus Barreto. If I were Barreto, I would take a chance, stand still, let Volchanson come in with shorter punches, hopefully to the body, and try for a, a, a clinch and go for a takedown. Be because to keep circling like this, Volchanson has more of a shot at landing that left hook, right hand combination. Yeah, that would be good. I, I, good I, really, I really think that he, he's got to stop circling because he's not going to win the fight this way. He's going to get picked apart because when he's circling, he can't kick effectively. Notice at the end of round two, his kicks happen when he stood stationary. When he's circling, he can't throw the kicks. Not, not to any degree of effectiveness. Like right now, he's standing still. Now, Bochanson knows he's going to throw a kick. But Bochanson has to know that he's got to get in there and do something to steal this fight. Yeah, maybe he's waiting for a time. Let us say three minutes left. It's close all the time, but close is not, not enough, huh? That's what they say. That's right. That left hook of Bochanson was close, but no cigar. And that right low kick landed, but didn't have a lot of oomph on it. Here we go. He tried to counter that jab, but came up short. Okay, now, which fighter is more frustrated? Okay, there it is. And Carlos Brera going down low for a takedown. 
Now, now, what's gonna happen? Does the takedown, is the takedown go to count? If it sure is now. Does he make it work? Well, Bretto is grinding away just a little bit. Those punches don't have a lot of zip on them, but he's at least busy. Where Igor is just holding on. There's that cross face, boss. Yep, and it's working. If he pushes out, grab with your other hand. Oh, push yourself out. I think the difference was in the position because yeah, Igor's arm was in the way. Here. Like before, his arm was in the way, so he couldn't get around the side of the arm. He can still do it now with the with the right, but he has to grab it with the left hand. Fingers, lock the fingers. Barreto doing the work here in this third installment, the overtime round. Do you see a possible deficiency in both chances game in this element? Uh, no. Nobody's got to keep him. No, no. Uh, I mean, uh, this only uh, Bajato. If it stays like this, Bajato's probably going to win the fight. I don't know. But, but what I'm saying is that do you think that Igor, uh, if there be a weakness in his game, that it would be in this position? Yes. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, because he doesn't so. seem to have any tools in which to deal with the, uh, the guard. Uh, I don't, I don't see anything coming from Vochanson other than just holding on and waiting for Barreto to make a mistake. But so far, Barreto has not made any mistakes. He's done the little punches he had to do. He's crossed face, tried to break loose the, the hold of Vochanson. He's been the man who's been busy here. I would have to say, unless this changes, Barreto is going to get the decision. Yep, same thing here. Okay, now Igor... Okay, that's the end of the round. Okay, I, I, to me, it looked like Carlos Barreto pulled that one out. Yeah, uh, to me, same thing. I, I mean, really, because Igor did not land any significant strikes in the overtime round. Barreto got the takedown and, and did a little bit of ground and pound from the guard. He did enough, in my opinion, to get the victory. Igor landed his more significant shots in the first round and the second round, but that does not factor in the scoring. And here we go to the decision. Seems like the judges are really taking their time here. One judge has Igor Bochanchi in the winner. Okay, Carlos Barreto. Now we're going to have a split decision here. Wow. I, I don't really agree with that decision because I think Barreto easily did enough to win that round. Yeah, and especially with what you said, you know, the earlier rounds don't count. Obvious, they don't because it's a, they, 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 they make it a draw and then they go for the five minutes. And then the, this last five minutes, I thought it was bad though.